the entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. Yeah, let's do the hideout. Because I went to all the other hideouts. Oh, must be underground. I don't care, J. Jonah. Sorry. That's a new smell. Yuck. Hope I find Sable before the fumes overwhelm her. I, I feel like you've had this without getting wet. That'd be a win. Had to. Oh, oh. I'm drowning in the shit. Okay, remember, Pete. Some hello. It's so cool. Whoa. Look at this place. The amount of work it takes to make this city run is just crazy. I'll never take fresh water for granted again. Okay, let's see where this leads. Looks like some loose bricks up ahead. I was gonna say, he had to have come down here when, like, okay, fighting a lizard or something, right? Hammerheads, guys. They've taken over an abandoned subway platform. Gotta take these guys out, then look around for Sable. I know it feels like I was just here. We thought they knew me. Someone thought they knew I was here. They're wrong. Surprised at how they can kind of see up a little bit. Almost, anyways. There are so many people still around. do anything about you guys I don't think uh to do I think it's just that group and the group that's over on the other end want to I want to be is where I am. I wonder if I can try to finagle a little bit of something fun. Hey, I'm coming over there. Hey. Got him. Honestly, felt pretty good to do that with the lamp. Somebody there? Hmm. Let me just go by the shelf. 
But one last dude, where are you? Where did one last dude go? Going over there. What is that? Guy wild? Like what how did he end up over there? No. I bet if I follow the power cables, I'll find where they're holding Sable. Hope that's not a load-bearing subway car. Okay. Good one, Pete. Nice. Okay, follow the yellow wire. Better not find any lions, tigers, or bears. Oh, my. Oh, can I just... Ah, tunnel's blocked. But I think I can still squeeze through. Squeezing through that window seemed a lot worse than just trying to go above the subway. Look at my big old shoes. My big honking feet. Time to swim. Body bags? Well, this just took a turn. Yeah, I don't want to be in the body bag. Water. He died inside the thing like the other guys. Who was it? Don't remember his name. Sal's cousin, I think. Was it messy? Nah, he just came out all blue. I think he stopped breathing in there or something. Did you hook up the oxygen line like I said? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think so. Boss ain't gonna like hearing. Then, and I'll forget you were drinking on the job yet. Okay, it seems like what I have to do is deal with everyone that's around. Hey, we gotta do this quick and then find Sable. Spider Man! What? Spider Man, what? I was kind of under the impression I might be this able to just. like their main base of operations. Walk around them. But clearly that was not the case. Unless there was somewhere else I'm supposed to go. Oh, I'm supposed to look at things. Project Olympus. These pods were... I told you, I just helped manufacture these things. I didn't design them. Guess we got the wrong guy then. On the bright side, now we got our first test subject. No! No! Don't! Don't turn it on! Please! Just give me a few minutes. I can figure it out. Now that's what I like to hear. I don't have to look at that anymore. Sable jetpacks. I'd pay good money to see Hammerhead's guys learning to fly in these things for the first time. I didn't realize how much I need to look at. XRT-89. Subterranean Troop Deployment Vehicle. That's the real name? I'm sticking with Dig Boy. All this stuff belongs to Sable. Yeah, most of it's overseas, though. What are you thinking, boss? I'm thinking about how she took over the whole city in a matter of days. You mean back during that Devil's Breath thing? Yeah, that was crazy. Not so crazy when you got the right equipment. Well, we got those digging things. Not good enough. If we want the best stuff, we're gonna need her. Yeah, okay. How are we gonna do that? Just keep taking her stuff. She'll come to us. Why would you need her specifically? But everything I thought I saw something else with a shine and a I gleam have a to it. See what I can learn. Just say to me, Spider Man. I got that guy still just squirming. That's what I saw. Oh, big arm. They got pictures of him in it. 
I thought you said I'd be indestructible. I said almost indestructible. After all, you're still human. Then make me less human. You're only human? I'm not sure what you After mean. all, I'll put the blame I on me. Now get to work. Okay, make him me a robot, you say. Wow. If Hammerhead gets his hands on this thing, we're in serious trouble. Okay, that's a boat. Sable, sounds like she's close. There. The only way out is through. Oh, I guess we're going up. I thought heading down would be cool. Deeper into the high voltage wires and sewer water. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> like that conveniently placed this underground lair thing. It's that Hammerhead should have fewer thugs with guns and a lot more safety inspectors. Ah! Every minute I am here is another nail in your coffin. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> Doesn't look like she went to too much torture even though he was about to drill her arm. Oh, there's some blood. Alright, she did get drilled a little bit. You came back for me. Why? Because I need you. I work alone. I used to say the same thing. I know what's happening in Simkaria. I know why this means so much to you. You think you know, but you do not know. What can I do to make you trust me? Look, I think I know how we can take down that monster, but I can't do it alone. Damn it! He let her loose! So many pods. Do we really need to keep the guys in the pods? Okay. Here's the plan. Good plan. I want her to just deal with it. I think she's dealing with it quite as fast as I was hoping. Ow! They have so many pods in here. Kind of nice to have you on my side for once. Shut up and fight. You gotta work on your fight banter, though. Cool to have a real team at home in. I have no idea where she went though. I'm sure she's helping. I feel like I might be helping more right now. Ow. Um. Hey Sable, where did you learn to fight? On the street with Simkaria. Yeah, I learned from watching movies. We should compare notes. She got herself like stuck in a corner. Okay, we did pretty good. I don't. I think you might have been stuck between two guys for a bit, but whoa, combo move. That was fun. <laughs> that was awesome.
awesome! High five! You said you could defeat Hammerhead. You, uh, know you left me hanging, right? Her attitude is a lot funner when they're working there are together. Medical records in here. Yeah, mostly about that metal plate in his head. Carbon steel. Super strong, pretty sensitive to heat. <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> I uh, solemnly swear to uh, do whatever you tell me to. I will call soon. Ah, oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a fun scene. That was like super fun. <laughs> Guess I'll do some Spidey work while I wait for Sable's call. Hey, what's that? Yeah, what? No spider work, we got what's wires. All the yellow stuff? Huh. Is um, this some weird street artist thing? Body. A police report. Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So, you have some work related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So they tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. Guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. Then what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. I love treasure hunts, but something tells me I'm not going to find a chest full of gold at any of these places. You don't know, Pete. Well, that's the other objective we have, then. Uh, yeah, so that would be everything. This, more crimes. Well, I guess we're gonna do this right now. I also feel like 75, we probably are close to being done. Well, we just learned that his weakness is being on fire. That was like the gist. We learned Hammerhead hates fire. Close to another crime scene. Hmm, mystery person's calling card. What, another police report? What and actually audio recorder. are they? They're like weird. I don't need to scan for clues. This looks familiar. I think it's the last known location of a Magia informant who disappeared a few months ago. I'm feeling a little uncomfortable. I think we should end the session. Sorry, Doc. I didn't mean this guy. I've just been paranoid lately. Like I said, stressful job. Okay. <laughs> But tell me a little bit more about your job. Describe a typical day. Hmm. Typical day? I guess it starts with waking up, checking my phone, see what the boss wants me to hit that day. Then I go grab breakfast. I've been trying to do that keto thing, you know? Then I do the hits. Sometimes it's messy, so I gotta head home and clean up. I try to get to the gym in the afternoon. Then dinner and I... Sorry, um... Can you go back for a moment? What does... Do a hit mean exactly? It means I kill who my boss does me to. I'm pretty good at it by now. Got quite the resume. <laughs> this guy sounds like a Magia enforcer. Feels like this is just part of the story. I should keep an eye out for more scenes like this. I feel like someone who really liked The Sopranos. No, I mean, yeah, we're basically just gonna go to all of these right now. What is our... We don't currently have a um, real mission objective at the moment, do we? Because I was going to say, well... Just letting you know I haven't left the house. Glad to hear it. What's up? I've been listening to the police radio, and there's stuff happening all over the city. Like, constantly. Pretty overwhelming, isn't it? How do you do it? I mean, you can't be everywhere at once. Remember what May used to say? You help someone, you help everyone. Yeah. But I never really understood what she meant. Okay. You know that lady that came in to feast the other day with her two kids? The one who just got evicted? Yeah. 
After she found a job and was about to move into her new place, she told me, as soon as I get my first paycheck, I'm sending as much as I can back to the shelter. So we helped her, and now she wants to help others. Helping is like a force multiplier. Exactly. May was pretty great, wasn't she? The greatest. I'm gonna send you an address as soon as I'm done with all this, so stay ready. And bring those web shooters with you. Finally! Nice. I like that they talk about the May for a minute. Say. I was really hoping I would have been able to see where one of these were on the map, but so we'll go this direction. Back? Well, clinically, you're a sociopath. You have no remorse for your actions. You clearly are not stressed. I doubt you think there's actually anything wrong with you. So, why did you really come see me today? <laughs> you're smart. I like that. Okay, let's get right to it then. You know what I tell you, and I won't kill your family. Whoa. You want to get right to it? Okay then. I know why you're really here. I knew who you were the minute you walked in that door. And I also know that before I do anything for you, you're going to do something for me. Oh, snap. Well, took a turn. These crime scenes all feel like covers for Magia hits. And if the guy on the tape is a Magia enforcer, Maybe he's the one who killed all these people. Like, I feel like I'm just listening to, um, ooh, we are right next to one. I feel like I'm just listening to a soap opera at this point. Better take a closer look. Lots of police tape and equipment at these scenes. Whoever's doing this must have access to this stuff. Someone fell to their death from this ledge. It was ruled an accident, but was it? On the last recording, the therapist turned the tables on the Magia guy. Welcome back. Have a seat. So, did you bring the, um... Yeah. Hope this takes care of your cash flow problem. Right. It most certainly does. Thank you. So, I assume you came to me because I have a few police officers as clients. You assume correct. But my boss and I are only interested in one of them. And... Who might that be? Captain Yuri Watanabe. Yuri? How is she mixed up in this? I'm afraid of where this story is going. I have to keep following it. Well, the connection was heavily implied with the uh, bases in the second DLC. But yeah, it's gotta invested. be somewhere nearby. Another setup for me. I am ready. Meet me at my base. I've been meaning to ask, how exactly do you have a base in the city that I don't know about? Right. Good talk. Good answer. Why is she always hanging up on me? Maybe she didn't hang up on purpose. We probably just got disconnected. She could be waiting for me to call her back. Or she could be running out of minutes on her cell phone plan. <laughs> I mean, she's probably doing international roaming. That stuff is expensive. Or maybe she just really needed to polish her pistols. Let's apply Occam's razor. The simplest and most obvious solution is... She hates me. Ugh. Yeah. What? Sorry, Pete. What? Oh, it's just across Take the... Off, police ruled this a suicide, but Yuri had her doubts. The victim was part of Hammerhead's crime family. In the last recording, they talked about... Uh, that was it for this one. Getting Yuri's there. mental health records. Here's Captain Watanabe's file. Hmm. This everything? Yes. You ever record her sessions? No, I never record any sessions. That'd be unethical and illegal. Well, we'd like you to record her next session. And my boss has a list of questions he'd like you to ask. That gonna be a problem for you? No, no, no problem. I feel like I shouldn't be listening to these. And yet I can't stop. Seems that whoever left these wasn't satisfied with what the police concluded. Two up there. I don't know if this is gonna. Mm, we might as well do the ones that we are going close to. I don't know if this is gonna lead to like another mission conclusion. Actually, I think it would. Wasn't there one that had a. Yeah, that looks like that has a side mission attached to it. I mean, this seems very important.
I wonder who's leaving these, though. It's not as simple as just like, oh, here's some lore just for you. Just for funsies. That's be like a decent reason why this exists. I say that. Sometimes there's not a great this is it, folks. This is the conclusion <laughs> to. I finally have proof. For years, I have asked my dear listeners to send in photographic evidence to prove once and for all that Spider-Man is directly linked to the very criminals who plague our city. Finally. Finally. One brave anonymous caller has delivered the goods. I want to know what this clear is. clear photos of Spider-Man standing in the immediate vicinity of caches of humanitarian aid. Aid that was intended for Simcaria. Okay. And our heroic caller assures me that these very humanitarian caches are being sold on the black market. I've learned one thing in my years as a worker. I remember I thought you thought it would be more interesting than that. Here. She was suspicious because the victim was a competitive swimmer. All of these reports are from the last year or so. But last month, Yuri assigned herself to all of these cases. Was Yuri the one who left all those recordings? Okay. That's kind of what I was thinking, but since you brought it up, probably not. thoughts about the suspect continued? Yes. Sometimes I feel like I've almost got it. And sometimes I feel like I'll never get it. Are you doing your breathing exercises? Trying to. But... I know who he is. I know where he is. And I know what he's done. But I can't do anything. Not without legally admissible evidence. That must be frustrating. You have no idea. Seems like Yuri's hunch is that the guy on the tape is the guy that killed all these people. I think she might be right. Oh, went a little overboard. But, I mean... I, I could still be Yuri. Like, that really was my my guess, so if it's not, I don't know who else it could be, and since the game told me maybe it's Yuri, I feel like that means that can't be the answer. I think I'm close. And there's the trademark yellow. The recorder must be around here somewhere. I think there was a hit and run here recently. To go that the way. victim was set to testify against one of Hammerhead's men. But of course, I probably should pay more attention to the actual crime scene, the but the tape one, is more interesting to me. Frustrated. You have no idea. That's it? Yes. I mean, we talked a little bit about her medication, but when is the next session? Why? What are you going to do? I'm gonna do whatever my boss does, Megan, though. Oh no. Are they setting up a hit on Yuri? Gotta get to those other locations. Well... If they were, I feel like it would have been done already. These are pretty... I, I, I guess I... I don't, guess I don't know how old these tapes are, but they're pre-recorded. I'm actually, like, super interested in this. Way more than I thought I would be from the first tape. I'm getting close. It has to be Yuri who's leaving all this stuff. Another report and recorder. I almost don't want to listen. Another report and recorder. I almost don't want to listen. <laughs> I remember this. Interesting to hear that twice. The person got electrocuted Record it differently. But the victim had ties to Hammerhead. Yuri tried, but couldn't find evidence of foul play. These case files are getting more and more recent. This one happened just a few weeks ago. You seem nervous. Yeah, well, the chief knew I was working undercover with you. I can't afford to lose my job. Maybe I should be the one doing breathing exercises. Well, isn't that interesting? Don't worry. I won't tell if you don't. Also, you're doing great. You're a very authentic looking doctor. Thanks, I think. You think he knows you were wearing a wire? If he does, he's a hell of a good liar. He's a Magia enforcer. We know he's a good liar. Question is, does he know he's being lied to? 
We'll find out tomorrow, I guess. You sure about all this? We catch him in the act of trying to murder a police officer. He gets put away for life. Yuri, what are you doing? I have to find her. Again, the time frame. Like, I know that case was a week ago. But what does... I don't know. That's interesting that... That therapist was working with Yuri. Pretty cool. Not a real therapist. One of those fakes. I think I'm close to the last crime scene location. Yuri's been here. Now where's the file? <laughs> New profile pick. Yeah, sorry guys. I was just looking for a file. Close, is it? Not like floating. I don't think it would be up, would it? It would have to be somewhere around these. Oh, it's right. <laughs> it's right there. I remember Yuri saying this was ruled an accidental death. Food poisoning, I think. Hey, Captain. You ready for this? Ready is all up to be. I'm all wired up on my way to the office. Just picking up a coffee first. Okay. Drinks are on me when this is done. <laughs> Looking forward to it, Captain. Yuri suspended, but she still won't give up. Hard not to respect that. Hi, can I just get a large coffee? Hey there, Dad. I thought you were just talking to. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Why did I listen to that? New side mission unlocked. For information, Pete, you got a scales of justice. Call from an unknown number. Hello? Hello, old friend. That, by like... Yuri? <laughs> Meet me at the corner. I'm sorry. That was clearly her silhouette. Madison and 23rd. We need to talk. Wait, wait, Yuri! So it was her that did that then. She's gone. With all that's happened to Yuri, she must be beyond hurting. She doesn't do anything without a reason. So why did she lead me on a grisly crime scene? Wait, what? Grizzly crime scene, wait, what? Convenient that I ended up in the right location for all this. Yuri, what did you do? Damn. It's the Magia Enforcer. Dead. And the case files from all his victims. This guy killed all these people. But does that mean he deserved to die? Yuri. I know what you're gonna say, but just hear me out. The system works most of the time, but there are times when it doesn't. And to me, that's unacceptable. Some people put their trust in fate or karma or whatever, but I can only trust me. You can't kill people, Yuri. Apparently I can. And you know what? It felt good. You need to turn yourself in. For what? I just dispensed justice, true justice, and I restored a little bit of balance to the world. You're my friend, Yuri. I don't want to come after you. You do what you have to do, and I'll do what I have to do. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Yuri! Tom, what am I gonna do? This all makes sense now. What Yuri did to Hammerhead, she's been struggling with this for a while. She's always held in her emotions. That must take a toll on her. But she's also the most tenacious and stubborn person I know. This was a bad guy for sure, but killing him? That's too much. Okay, that is the end. Uh, I wouldn't even say killing him is the too much part. Like, this is insane. The, like, grapple wires to the suspects and all that jazz. Is, like, that's, that's a bit much. That's a, that's a bit much. That. Look how cool. It's, it's pretty cool, honestly. But clearly, like, insane. Like, that's the, like, that's the kind of tipping point that you got where it's like, oh, you know, I do think the people that, like, kill constantly maybe do deserve to die. I, I think you could, like, maybe have people that, like, feel that way and I don't know my opinion on it's kind of mixed like I can't say I would be too sad about someone like that dying but obviously when you make a monument to it that's a little insane 
but also pretty cool. All right, well, I think uh, I'm just going to do all of the uh, crimes now because I think we should be able to do the 100%. This is a last crime in New York City, baby. I wish I would have done a... I can't believe you guys were having a block party and didn't invite your friendly neighborhood Ooh, Two gallons. Well, now I'm scared. Ooh, and Rocket Man, let's go. Mmm, thank you, Rocket Man. Ooh, that almost got me. I'll break your friggin' jaw. You see that? I'm gonna get this. I need the rocket guys to go away. Direct contact. That one. Well, I was about to like talk shit while doing this, but it kind of got scary. More gold necklaces. And now more guys. Oh, I thought you were gone. Now more guys showed up. I was thinking about the Yuri situation. And, like, the fact that she had to make it a big spectacle definitely shows her being kind of unhinged. Because, like, she could have just killed the guy and it would have been like, okay, vigilante work. It made me think about, and I kind of was thinking about how great it would be. Um, I don't think this game has brought up the Punisher at all. Daredevil was mentioned. I want to say Luke Cage might have been mentioned. But I would love if in Spider-Man 2 there was like a little side mission where the Punisher tries to hunt Spider-Man. But like, that's beside the point. My main thing about all of that is that, um, oh, let's go. I didn't realize what suit I was getting. I saw the name of it. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Oh, I'm so happy. But like, I'd imagine that like Peter looks down on Punisher killing people. But I'd imagine he's also not getting too, like, sanctimonious over it. So, like, Yuri's thing is just, again, a little over the top. This still, as much as I'm excited to have this suit, still feels a little weird. To have just a different art style. I think the comic book suit was probably my favorite one, but this is a pretty strong contender. Pretty big fan of this one. I do know, um, I think Yuri's character does become some kind of vigilante character in the comics. I believe I saw people talking about how, like, they showed her vigilante character in a trailer for Spider-Man 2, so that's exciting, I think. That seems neat. Let's get to work. The good thing is, being in a completely different art style with Spider-Verse makes sense. So where's this base you talked about? Whoa. Oh. Your toys are so much cooler In than invisible. mine. Invisible. Oh, great, good. Boss fight platform. I love this invisible floating fortress thing. But now that all of New York City has seen it, Hammerhead will probably be here soon. I am counting on it. So let us work quickly. I have acquired the Class 5 laser array. Okay. We need to calibrate it to prevent it from overheating. Look at us overheat? on my masters in calibration. Let's do this. Okay, what's first? Pull the housing array into place. I'm on. just kind of admiring. I am waiting. Look a little bit. I'm sorry, I'm admiring. What am I doing? Whoa, nice laser. Locked. Done and done. 
We are not done. Oh. We must reset the targeting field, aerials. Sure thing. I have no idea what you're talking about. Exit the hangar and navigate to the top of the nearby transmitters. Alrighty. So we should talk about the strategy with Hammerhead, don't you think? What is there to talk about? We find him. Then focus the laser on the plate in his head. The laser will heat the carbon steel to critical temperature, which will rearrange its molecular structure. And soften it so I can knock him unconscious. I get that part, but how do you know it won't, uh, melt his brain? When the wolf attacks the sheep, he risks getting shot by the shepherd. Okay, well, shepherd, just remember my no-killing rule, okay? Done. How's it look? Systems appear functional. Now we must test the targeting and power levels. Cool. Wait, this doesn't involve shooting me, does it? Not yet. But I do need you to launch those targets. Right. Okay, ready? Ready. Bombs away! Hit it! Pretty, uh, precise. Oh! Just a few more. Cool with me, this is fun! Here comes another one! Nice shot! This is how modern militaries do skeet shooting? Oh, oh! Can we do one more? Please! You are a child. Yeah, well, we're all children on the inside. Wait, what am I doing? I was already here. There more? Oh, there were more! Come back. We have one more thing to do. On my way. We must adjust the gyroscopic navigation stabilizer in order to compensate for the weight of the laser. Go to that terminal and wait for me to activate the system. Are you gonna make me do a mini game? I was kind of looking I'm forward to in. the not having to do mini game part. Okay, that should do it. Oh no! <laughs> That's the guy. He immediately hit that jet. You two teaming up now? You. But it ain't gonna do no good. Uh, Sable? Use a little help here. The laser is down. Can you fix it? That's it. Ow. I just want to thank you for showing me what Ow. I've been doing wrong for years. If I want to rule this city, okay. I got a lot of that. Involved! Now that I'm involved, it's time for me to be the boss I always should have been! Just as soon as I kill you! Sable, what's your status? Later in time on my Hold him in place! Oh, what do you think you're doing? Now I can get in close. This is a fight you ain't gonna win! He hates it. I need reinforcements! Now! Uh, he has reinforcements coming in. Oh, at least save us helping out. Quicker. Glad the reinforcements aren't dealing with this part. Give up now. Look at me! You can't kill me! I'm dead! If that was that, that would be pretty funny. Still no respect. Also, is this the end? What's it gonna take? Do you know what I respect? A guy who knows when to quit. Commencing bombing run. Damn, I missed. Keep them coming. I'll make sure the next one hits. Yeah, seems kind of like the end. Uh, okay, as much as I love my Spider-Verse suit, I feel like we probably should end it with the Insomniac one. You fight good, but not as good as me. It's you fight well. Ow, okay, not what I expected the laser to do. Yeah, this shield's too strong. I need to disable it first. I just did. You ain't gonna win! Mm. Especially not when you headbutt me. I see Swing in. This guy's got knocked the heck down. Gotta move fast before he recovers. Keep okay. it, Smack look him at around. Me. You can't kill me! You okay, we have, have to do the bomb thing again. I'll give you one chance. Join my crew! 
or die. I'll take what's behind door number three. Okay. Too close on the camera there. Can't really see him too well. I love how like all of his ads just die when I um get the laser phase going. Okay, I wasn't really sure the best way to go about trying to. Can't penetrate his shield. I, why do you keep telling me that? I'm trying to do the bomb strategy. Shoot him better. This is, this is rough. I can't do it. Oh no. Alright. Get ready to jump. Wait, what? <laughs> Kamikaze us? Oh lord! Well that that'll do it, probably. And the suit doesn't seem like it's feeling so hot, so look at how menacing. <laughs> Ah, oh, never mind. Can't believe dude turned himself into a robot for what? Oh, that was fun. Hey, you have dinner plans? I know this great pizza place. I must return to Simcaria. Right. I do not know what you pizza have a war is. To fight. I do not like to fight. Do what I have to in order to help my people. I know. That's what heroes do. I am no hero. But you have taught me a few things. Oh yeah? Like what? Like how to disarm my enemies with bad jokes? Actually, they're good jokes, but I understand humor can be subjective. I want to see you try to disarm with bad joke. Do it. For everything. I don't... Can I trust your handshakes? I don't do hugs. Yeah, <laughs> right. Of course. Uh, hey, can I get a lift back to the city? Uh, I'd, I'd swim, but it'd take forever to get the river smell out of my suit. <laughs> uh, she didn't give him permission. All us all to be greater. Uh, so maybe the DLC was around the time when Stanley died. I don't remember year wise. Um, I mean, overall, the DLC's fine, but I don't love it. There obviously were moments. Like, I really loved the Spidey and Sable working together and him trying to get a high five and her begrudgingly giving him one as she leaves. That was a great scene. But overall, with both, all three DLCs, they just kind of didn't feel as tight as like the main campaign was like what a shame the black cat was really only in the first one and then they forgot about her and said oh let's just have her do something real quick at the end she can tell us that hammerhead is really weak to fire and burning which i feel like is such a nothing weakness that's like oh yeah if he has a metal head burning seems like the good option so i don't know I didn't hate it. I do think the harder enemy types were more annoying than anything. Minigun guys are obnoxious. They used more of the whip guys. Thank God the like they didn't repurpose the demons because they are they were kind of annoying with their like swords. So if I had to deal with them with minigun guys, I think I would have screamed. Awful, awful decision to use Screwhead instead of like just pulling Taskmaster out again. 
All I'm saying, though, is I, I would love it if, like, the Punisher showed up in Spider-Man 2. Just for, like, a little side mission where he's like, Oh, I was hired to kill you because you might be a bad guy. They can even, like, tie it into the Venom stuff, right? Because that's what Spider-Man 2 is about, is Venom. Venom! What is it? I think, like, Craven, obviously. I think they said Lizard is in it. But, I mean, overall, I like it. I'm looking forward to Spider-Man 2, obviously. I'm not going to play Miles Morales right away, but I will play that before Spider-Man 2 comes out in October. Um, and that's, and like I mentioned it already many times, so disappointing that there wasn't anything for Miles. They even like, so like the side mission sucked in the main campaign, but they did decided just not to even bother with side missions in this one. And I don't count most of those as side missions beyond like, I guess, helping David. Davis? I already forgot his name. I don't know if he was, like, a comic book character or not. When he got, like, assaulted. But, like, all the other side missions... I guess Screwballs was enough of a side mission, but still annoyed me. Most of them were just, here's the uh, end cap to your collectible thing. It was cool seeing Yuri's thing. Again, I don't know how unhinged she's supposed to be. She talked like she wasn't unhinged. But all of the, uh... The recordings and the like weird setup she did definitely felt unhinged. Uh, cool to see Black Cat's dad do a thing. I like that there's like a send off kind of end point for those collectibles. But like I said, I'm disappointed. Like Black Cat was good. I liked her in the first DLC chapter, but it was disappointing how little she was really involved. I would say by the end point, but all it really amounted to was she had the thumb drive that said that he had heat sensitive metal. And that just seems kind of like whatever information. Um, I guess it more so is a hindsight thing, but like I said, the like Sable leaving to think things through and then coming back being as pissed as ever seemed kind of silly. Uh, obviously, maybe she shouldn't have left all of her shit here in New York. Might have been a smart decision. Hammerhead was okay. It, maybe it's me personally, I guess. I don't... The, like, more simple antagonists like Kingpin and Hammerhead and anyone else that might be, like, mob family related aren't quite as interesting as, like, superpower related guys. So Hammerhead kind of being the main antagonist without anything else, not great. The robot suit thing seemed kind of dumb. Like, they really should have just had him come back to life and that just be a, I don't know. It was like, I feel like the super serum stuff kind of meant nothing. I, like, I don't think the enemies were tougher because of it. They might have been. It didn't, I didn't feel it. And what's the point if you basically are just a head in a robot? outfit why would you need to worry about having the super oh we're doing it look at him with his little he's got a little mask on i think the web shooters are a little tight get used to it just try to keep up Might, have, might want to start at a lower point, but would have been nice to have that kind of sprinkled a bit more throughout the game. Congratulations. It's okay. done. Hammerhead's finished, but his men are still out there. A spider's work is never done. I did all the crimes. I, I don't think there's anyone else. So what was that cyborg suit? What was the last one we got? Dude, that's rad. Look at that arm. What's, um... I don't know Mortal Kombat. He, ma he makes me think of, like, that, uh... That Mortal Kombat guy with robot arms. I, I think he also has, like, a weird eye thing. I want to say Kane, but I really don't know. I don't... Know Mortal Kombat well enough. What a, what a crazy suit. At least it's different. At least it's not armored. I mean, it's kind of armored. Does he have grenades on his arm? Wild. But yeah, it, overall, great game. I had, I think, a bit more of a positive impression on it after the main campaign. Oh, J. John is going to 
sign us off, I guess. Hammerhead has been taken down for good. Cyborg parts and all. I will even give Spider-Man and Silver Sable an ounce of credit. They did, after all, land the final blow. However, while the mainstream media trips over itself to heap lavish praise on these vigilantes, allow me to give you a dose of facts. Hammerhead would have never gotten this far had it not been for Silver Sable leaving behind all her gear in the city. And don't get me started on Spider-Man stoking the fires of a gang war and forcing a decorated police captain into administrative leave. So sure, they cleaned up the mess, but they were also the ones that made it. Yo, you know what? J. Jonah is spitting straight facts, and you can't really deny that. Like, I don't, I don't know what else to say. He, he was right. That's what I was complaining, not complaining about. Complaint would be like if I like actually had a problem with it. It's more so just observation. It uh, kind of all on her. But uh, yeah, he, he's not wrong. It's all our fault. I mean, obviously, it's hard to, like, it's hard to, uh, top Doc Ock as far as, like, a main villain goes. Unless if you do something like, I don't know, Venom. But, yeah, it was still great, and I am looking forward to playing more of it eventually. Spider-Man's a cool guy.